Well, good morning, friends. Um, this is Monday, March the 23rd, and we are going to do 2.5 today. And <clears throat> I just want to, um, I have the notes pulled up right here, and so I'm just going to scroll through them and allow you um, just point out a couple of things to make sure that you look at as you go through this. I've tried to add extra notes in different places. So I guess um, the best way for you to do this, I guess the best way for you to learn, I would say, is to go through and copy the notes first because there is research to say that um, handwriting things will help you learn it better. So make sure that you copy the notes first and then um, go back and listen to this video so um, that you can see the things that I'm pointing out. So um, first of all, I just want to start by a little review. The Friday before spring break, we talked about quadratics. And with quadratics, we know that the A is what determines whether it opens up or down. And then we have the inside of the function, which is the H, <clears throat> and the outside of the function, which is the K. So the A determines whether it opens up or whether it opens down. And so we found our vertex, which was H and K. We then want to move on today to cubics and kind of a refresher what a cubic looks like. Um, the only difference in the formula is the cube. And then this is a positive one on the left and then a negative um, cubic graph on the right. So the direction does matter. If you have trouble doing these, um, it's always a half a parabola up and a half a parabola down to remember. Okay, then we want to go to absolute value, and with absolute value, the A again determines the direction of the graph, and if it's positive, it's going up, negative, it's going down, you still have your H and K going on. Now, I just also want to review what's considered the inside of the graph and what's considered the outside of the graph, because I'll refer to that. The inside of the graph is the X minus H portion. Okay, the H, and it's always the opposite sign of that, just like we did with circles. The K is the outside portion, and you go with the sign. So it's opposite of the inside, same sign as the outside. So talking a little bit about symmetry, um, symmetry is determined if it's even symmetry, it's mirror image around the x, the y axis, excuse me. If it's odd symmetry, it swivels around the origin. So you can take the top half, swivel it around, and it becomes the bottom half. So it swivels around the origin, and then you can have no symmetry. How you find symmetry is for you plug in negative x, you substitute negative x into the function. If it comes out exactly the same, then you um, have an even function. If it comes out exactly the opposite, you have an odd function. So I did a couple of examples there for you to show, so substituting in negative x there. If it comes out, signs are some of them the same or some of them are different, then you have um, you have neither, you have no symmetry going on there. Um, the first thing is translations of graphs. So we're gonna vertically and horizontally shift graphs. So the first one is vertical shift. Vertical shift is the outside of the graph. So this is gonna be the K portion of your formula. And so um, it goes with the sign, the same sign as the outside. So um, either C units up or C units down, it goes with the sign. So a couple of examples there. Notice the negative graph in the middle because the A on the front is negative, it flips that graph over. So we have a negative cubic graph there but again um, and my tick marks on the graph are um, every two is one to make it a little bit bigger for you horizontal shifting this is the inside of the graph so this is the X minus H portion of the graph and so it's the opposite direction of the sign so if it's positive C or positive H um, you move to the left if it's a negative H you move to the right and again, if it's negative, it flips that graph over. Okay, and then we can combine them. So this last one is what we're gonna, um, you're end up going to need to understand how to do is the A on the front determines um, if the graph's opening up or down. You can look at the formula to know what type of graph it is. So can I identify the graph? Is it a linear graph? Is it a cubic graph? Is it a quadratic graph? Is it an absolute value graph? and then um, determine the horizontal shift, the vertical shift, and again, it's always the opposite sign of the inside, same sign of the outside, and it can create that vertex for you. So you can find that central point and then make your graph from there. 
Um, the last thing is just the stretching and compressing of the graph, and we talked about a little bit this with our with our quadratics on the Friday before spring break. The greater the absolute value of a, so the negative doesn't matter. The greater the absolute value of a, the skinnier the graph. Okay, the closer that a gets to zero, the wider the graph, because once a hits zero, it is a, it becomes a straight line. So the skinnier, the greater the a, the skinnier the graph. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there is, I mean, I'm going to post an assignment, um, it's a quiz, and basically it's just going to kind of, um, it's basically combining the same idea as this right here, combining those shifts, horizontal and vertical graph, um, and then giving me the graph. So it's a combination of those. So a couple of things about it, please complete the worksheet. Um, you can, you have an option, either print it out or you can just get another piece of paper and write on it. That's perfectly fine and graph those for me. Um, and then email me a picture of the worksheet. So just take a picture with your phone or a document camera or anything you have there, a phone will work. And email me that picture of the worksheet. Um, one through three is just a general graph. Four through six are the horizontal and vertical shifts. Do the graph open up or down? And this is due by Wednesday, March 25th by noon. So make sure to email me that. Um, the other assignment you have going right now is in the discussion board. Make sure you go in and that's due today by midnight. Make sure you answer those questions for me and um, you hop on there and um, and if you have any concerns, make sure to voice them there or send me a private email if you need that. So um, I hope today goes well for you guys. Again, I know this is different, but I think we're going to be successful in this. And um, again, reach out if you have any questions about this or just the overall, if you have anything, um, questions about what's happening on campus, just let us know. Um, and we would, I would love to visit with you. So um, in the welcome video, I did post, um, I did give my my phone numbers, so you're welcome to call me there at either one of those. And then I will make sure um, my email address is, I will make sure to include that when I post the worksheet. So, okay, I'm going to sign off for today. You guys are the first one I've done, so I feel that um, hopefully this goes pretty successful. So, have a great day and uh, miss you guys.